is gonna be all about snakes. We haven't seen snakes in a while now on, on this vlog channel, so we're gonna snake it up. You guys down with snaking it up? Let's get snaked up. Top of the morning, friends and family. We are back home now, and the boys are already going buck wild. Noah's got his fireman's hat on. Eli's getting crazy, and finally gonna check out the snakes. That's 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 the best part. Oh, sorry, I put a key under this hat. No. Key! I had put a key underneath that hat in case Jalen needed to get up into the house, and that was also my spare key to the snake room, so when I got back, it's not there. So... Hey, Brian, what's up? Hey, dude, did you, uh, did you bring that key that was under the straw hat into the snake room by chance? Oh, shoot, man. I, I totally think I did. Um, you know... I can be right over there, they'll be there in like two seconds. Two seconds, okay, sweet, thanks. Okay. All right, bye. Two seconds, my <laughs> ass. That might have been oh. three. <laughs> thanks, Jalen. I'm glad I didn't have to sit here forever and wait. He's getting nervous and wondering, wondering, did I do good enough? Is Brian gonna come in here and chastise me? Let me see. As long as all the snakes are alive. <laughs> there she is. Look at that beauty. You are a tiny snake, Eli. Did I hold this one? You want to hold that one? Yeah, it's really yellow. Okay. <laughs> I was gonna set it down there, and I was like, I don't want to do it again. <sighs> Whoa! Look at her. She's good. She's it's too heavy. It's too heavy. Yeah. Alright. I want to close it. Okay. Hello. What's up, Missy? How you been? You have a good time? You leaving me again? You going back in? Thanks for taking such good care of the snakes today. Did you guys do you have any incidents or anything while you were no? No, everything is all good. Everything good? No problem. Yeah. You happy to be back in the snake room? Mm -hmm. What do you know? I know. Tractors. Tractors? <laughs> what about tractors? That's the one I was just showing you. His name is Frank and he's from Lightning Green. And he is, a, no, maybe a bin smaller. Or slice Carter. Anything else about? Oh, look, you got Halo. <laughs> don't don't grab her by the head, bud. Okay. Nice. She's looking at you guys. <laughs> okay, I think Cody wants to go back into her set. What do you know? I know. What about snakes? That they big. They're big? Yeah. What else? Um that. The other one. That? The, yeah. The other one. The big one. Right there. What about her? What's her name? Her, um, I don't know. You know her name. Um Bissy. You, you know her name. No, that's Halo. It's Halo. <laughs> I called him. Hey, yo! He's moving the bucket. How old is Halo? Halo's like oh, four years old. I want to eat you rabbits. Give her... You want to eat rabbits? Yeah. They're yeah, silly. You give her some rabbits. Um, eat on rabbit. her Hey, look who it is. Hey, everybody. Mr. Ed Villardo. Ed. Dude, Ed, Ed brought me a GoPro. So we're, we got a GoPro. We're up on the GoPro. Thanks to Ed. Thank you, Ed. No problem. Or she's so heavy. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> uh, these orange so heavy. 
<laughs> you gonna go for a swim? Here? <laughs> don't step on toe. Uh, uh, he's going back. Look at Jalen's on it. No, he likes to wrap around. <laughs> get her off! Get her off! She'll go off on her own. She's a fine machine. I want to close her. We have to wait for her to get inside before you close her. Daddy? What's up? I don't know who to promote that snake. Okay, Can good luck. Is he really big? No, not really big, but... Uh, is he... Uh, does he bite? Sometimes. Oh, kind of I want that kind. I think just couldn't see well, too. Yeah. yeah. I want that car. Like like Actually, I want that car. Okay. Back up, please. Okay. Are you okay? <laughs> Is he trying to bite? No. No. I got a snake. Careful his tail. He's peeing. He's peeing? Well, you're lucky he's not peeing on you. Yeah. Oh, he's getting in here. I want that Scrub pythons are a little bit... I Let's let him go back in, okay? Scrub pythons, that was a good job getting them out, but these ones are a little tough to hold. What? <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Wranglers wrangling everywhere. I want that. Really? Yeah. Um, did strike at the cage a couple times, but for yeah. the most part, it was real easy having that system of just pushing it back and forth and closing it off. Nice. What's up? You want to watch the snake climb? Uh, is he, he's climbing on you right now. <laughs> yeah, but I meant he's on something on else. Him. No, there's one climb there. <laughs> you, you get, you I, his head got in the Snakes are like, can you go back on vacation now? <laughs> <laughs> Got my buddy Jason Bigler from Morph Mixology Reptiles in town. We're going to check out some okay. snakes. So you haven't really held a ton of snakes. You no, I got a little bit of a little bit of a crash course, so to speak, at uh, Prehistoric Pets with Jay. Because so, you were, I mean, you, you're getting big into them now, and but you had, a, just like a year ago, you were pretty afraid of them, right? Yeah, less than a year ago, deathly afraid of anything that didn't have four legs on it. So he's come a long way with his fear for snakes. We're going to get him introduce some other species here, some scrub pythons, some blood pythons, Burmese pythons. You, you down? Yeah, let's do it. So I think Jason did an absolutely phenomenal job of holding all these snakes for his first time. 
all these different species. I would have never guessed in a million years unless he told me that one year ago he was afraid of snakes. I never would have guessed that in a million years. I'm now a permanent member of the snake room. <laughs> <laughs> permanent feature. Yeah, we're gonna just leave him here. We're gonna hang snakes on him when we're cleaning. Leave a comment down below if you've been afraid of snakes recently and overcame it. Or if you'd like to overcome it. Or if you haven't overcome it yet. Also, please give me a round of applause for remembering to turn on the microphone. <laughs> Look at this guy, he's a well-rounded human being. Holds snakes and babies. I know a lot of ladies who are probably very jealous of you right now, bro. Yeah, my wife included. <laughs> I sent her a picture and she said, not fair, I want baby snuggles. Full disclosure, guys, it is a brand new day. Even though I haven't changed my shirt, I haven't done anything, I haven't taken a shower. Been here at the house for a little less than 12 hours. It's time to leave. We're going to Freedom Breeder. But I did stop by my storage unit and pick up all these cool prints for you guys. Prints on metal. These, these things are sweet. And these, this is all photography I, I took a few years back. Got some bigger prints that are matted on paper. That's one of my favorite shots from one of our favorite waterfalls in Oahu. Anyway, I'm really excited to be able to send these things out to you guys. Finally got them. They're gonna be coming to you live and direct. Anyone that's put donations, I, I see that pretty much everybody's got their address down there, so you guys can look forward to receiving a print from me in the mail. Let's go to Freedom Breeder. We're here, look, follow me here. I haven't had a chance to shower since the Tadpole Creek. Driving in the car by myself for three hours, I kind of noticed that maybe I smell a little bit more fragrant than I usually do. So, I'm hoping nobody notices. Oh, weird. Oh, fancy meeting you. I would have thought you'd have been in here. <laughs> What's up, bro? What's that? Usually I, I oh, uh, you're I'm uh, eating garlic or onions or something? What? Uh, no, I, uh, no. Uh, what? No. A little garlicky. Yeah, what's up, Jill? It's good to see you. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit, you do stink. <laughs> I gotta thank Mr. Enrico Spadoni for loaning me this awesome camera and this awesome lens. Look at how wide it is. Walking by all the racks is really sweet. <laughs> Look at this clown, it's like the same color as the substrate. It almost disappears. Clown yellow belly. Possible yellow belly. You guys see yellow belly in this clown? Clown possible blade. Killer clowns from outer space. You ever see that movie? Yeah. <laughs> you have? That's awesome. <laughs> I was not expecting you to have seen that movie. My favorite scene is when he makes a T Rex shadow. The puppet shadow. Bamboo black pastel, super pastel, spot nose. Coral glow spider clown. Pastel Lesser Enchi Arroyo. Albino Spot Nose. Super Red Spectrum. Trip out. Enchi Sunset. Man, somebody really handsome must have produced that animal. Ready for this? Black Pastel Mojave Hidden Gene Woma Yellow Belly Coral Glow. Pew. Super Enchi Pinstripe Malum. You need some of that in your life. I do need some of that in my life. <laughs> that white belly. Look at the color of it. I think it almost looks like a sunset. J.H.I. Mojave. Pied. Pied. Well, look at the yellows coming up off those yellows. <laughs> this is Harvey Dent, the world famous half scaleless ball python. Harvey Dent. I took it back. Well, this one's only half scaleless. It's only half scaleless, <laughs> but you get to feel the half of it and what it, what it feels like. What it, 
What does it feel like to you? Am I allowed to uh, to keep it G? <laughs> Dude, that, that's I, a good rated G. I, 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 just keep it G -rated. To, I just want to know what it feels like to um, you. It actually, it feels a lot like leather, really, in all honesty. Ah, uh, you're so. But uh, it's it's what I especially especially being like half scaleless since you get a couple of bumps in here. This is what an old man's <laughs> would feel like. <laughs> Check out these guys with their new prints, man. Uh, oh yeah, fantastic prints. Look at this. Look at this thing. That's yeah, what, it's only people that the, don't sleep see that stuff. Right no there. sleep. Just, no no sleep. sleep. No sleep. All right, all right. <laughs> Thanks, Jason. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate it. This guy is so nice. I accidentally stole my parents' car keys. This guy drove us all the way back to the bay just so I could drop off my car keys, and my parents. Oh my freaking gosh, what a nice guy. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Hi, sunshine. Hi. <laughs> Good to see you in for a couple of minutes. Here's some water for the road. Oh, thanks. Jimmy called me the other day and almost made me cry. Thanks. What? What's that? Tell, tell everybody what's going on with this auction. So we, we were talking and we thought maybe it'd be a good idea because our thing is, you're a good dude. You put a lot of, you bring a lot of positivity to the, to the. A hobby, you know, and I don't even know how to put it. I, I lost track of what I was gonna say. It's all right, I'll let it roll out. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm actually gonna cut this entire clip. <laughs> so it'd be like, um, we, we run, a, run an auction to get it more like, uh, to help raise funds and to get help get some of your stuff back. I still don't know how to word that better. <laughs> <laughs> it's not coming out right. It's yeah, right. coming out right the other day when I was on the phone with you. Yeah. The point is, Freedom, Freedom Breeder Family takes care of its own. Well, you figure, you figure like this, you're, you're part of the family, you know, and, and family looks out after each other. I mean, when the hobby, you know, you get a lot of people arguing and fighting, but when push comes to shove, when someone needs help, you know, that's what we're here for. You know, especially, like I said, you're part of the family, you come here, you do a lot for us. So it's only right that we do that for you back, you know, so we're, us personally, we're going to put up a Corvo Pide and um, whatever 100% proceeds go completely to triple B TV and, and what you do, you know, and um, get you back on your feet. You know what I mean? We've had one guy, uh, he is giving us two clutches, a one retic clutch, the whole clutch, and another whole ball python clutch. He's donated, uh, Scott Bolter, another mutual friend, and um, yeah, he says, man, he goes, he, he called me too, and he goes, bro, he goes, Brian's such a good dude, he goes, he's done a lot for this hobby, but a lot of, brings a lot of positivity to it. He goes, what better way? He goes, so my way of showing my appreciation is that I'm just going to give you guys the whole clutch. Well, I'm not sure how much that I can, I'm going to keep in of you talking about what a <laughs> what a great guy I am. I'm a, it's a little uncomfortable to be honest, standing here listening to you, looking through the camera about you talking about me like that. Yeah, all I do is, I just do. You bring a positive a positive outlook on a lot of stuff. You know, because you, you see some people that are just, I don't know, it's, it's, hard, to, it's hard to put hard to put it into words. But everything you do, you can see there's passion in it. You know what I mean? So it, it, to a lot of us, it bothers us that when we see people get, you know, even though you had it all taken and you were bummed about it, you still put a positive spin on it. And for a lot of people, that's hard for them to do. You know what I mean? So a lot of people just like, they get, something bad happens, and they're like, they just want to be done and give up. My, my thing is life's, life's too short. I mean, if you can't fix stuff, you can't change something. It, being angry, but sure, being angry is a form of therapy. I think <laughs> definitely yeah. a form of therapy. Yeah. But you know, I don't, I don't really enjoy being angry. So it's like I try to spend as little of my time on this earth yeah. being angry. So that's, I think that's where it comes from. I don't know. I'm still mad. <laughs> hey, this is Jesse Johnson. Here.